Okay, good. Good. Morning. Sorry, morning. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Can you help away? This is going to be an art illustration. It's <clears throat> just a picture I drew for a friend uh, right at the, at the start of the year, anyway. It's about a uh, 40 hour process. Um, the two books in the corner. Uh, also published, um, published those books, uh, the yellow one in 2016, blue one in 2018, so introduction. So we're going to walk through my personal experience as an illustrator. We're going to look at the illustration process. We're going to look at illustration techniques. Uh, creating your own illustration. And finally, the different stages of illustration. And basically, all the last one is just a compilation of one picture that uh, I have drawn for so different stages. I'll show you show you when we get to that point. I'm hoping this is going to take at least 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so my personal experience as an illustrator. Again, my name is Michael Jockroy. I have been illustrating my entire life using a medium uh, known as my version of classical pencil and colored pencil. My experience has led me to a wide array of being creative and discovering more of my artistic ability. I enjoy illustrating. It's very rewarding and yet very difficult at the same time. Uh, what I mean by difficult is um, it's difficult in a way because it's, it's really time consuming. Um, you have to be committed. There's a lot of commitment involved. Uh, you can easily just walk away after like an hour and just say, I'm done. I don't, I don't want to see this thing through. It, it takes a long time. It, it really does. And uh, some of the, uh, some of the uh, articles I've read say that colored pencil is actually the longest, um, most tedious uh, medium there is. So, uh, with that being said, um, not one of my illustrations are the same. They differ in style and detail the more I illustrate. Um, so I'm constantly learning for myself and um, learning different uh, coloring uh, combinations. Um, there's just so many, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's, some of my illustrations are very colorful, while others are black and white. And the black and white was actually, um, here, I'll get into it here. Um, I started out in black and white, just pencil. Um, and I, I actually hated color pencil because I didn't want nothing to do with it. So, uh, and I'll read that here. Uh, to turn back the clock, I started out with just classical pencil and stayed there for 20 years or so. I've only been using colored pencil for the past few years. The more I use colored pencil, the more I enjoy it because there are so many colors and color combinations that complement each individual piece that I create. In this brief teaching, I'll describe what is needed for illustrating, types, styles of illustrating, and I'll show you some work that I've created for friends and also from books that I've published. So the first picture that was on basically the title page I did for a really uh, dear friend from uh, high school. And of course the two books that were in the corner, those are the books I've published. Uh, so this picture here, um, super interesting. It was the last, uh, it was the last uh, 
set of pictures in, in my latest book, uh, Lex's Wacky Adventure to Comkeon Island. Uh, and basically it was just two, two uh, illustrations put together. And I, I think I did a fairly decent job. Um, That's still with pencil? Color pencil, That's yeah. Pencil. Hmm. Yeah, so I kept, so you kind of see the fog. Uh, that's all just regular pencil. I just kind of smeared it to uh, give that uh, technique or texture, if you will. Um, yeah, there's so many things you can do with colored pencil and pencil. Um, so this guy right here, he's the main character. Uh, he's a pug. And that uh, big old uh, dinosaur looking guy is actually a dragon named Odo. And they actually become best friends on uh, Odo's home island called Komakion Island. Um, and this uh, uh, this set of pictures or illustrations here, uh, that was you're probably looking at about uh, about 60 hours. Um, if that, so yeah, real time consuming. Um, take a lot of breaks. A lot of breaks in between. Uh, most of those breaks involve beer, so. <laughs> uh, okay, illustration process. Uh, mediums. Um, so, if you're not familiar with art, there's numerous types of mediums. Um, you need to know your medium before advancing to any type of artwork initially. Uh, here are a few just to point out. Pencil, colored pencil or both, charcoal, any form of paints, pastels, watercolors, um, etc. There's quite a few different paints, uh, acrylic paints, uh, things like that, Bob Ross, you know, um, all that good stuff. Uh, materials um, you're looking at, it's better to have all materials at hand before the illustration process. Uh, materials include, but are not limited to, choose colored pencils um, for your project or your illustration. You're going to need your pencils, erasers, sharpeners, uh, your choice of paper, though there are many. Um, so basically, I've just gotten into the niche of uh, finding the type of paper to use. Uh, I used to just you know, grab a stock, whatever that you put in the printer, and apparently um, that's like crap paper to an artist, an illustrator, because uh, the different um, higher end papers that you can use, uh, they have like little ribs in the paper, and those ribs uh, collect uh, each uh, layer of colored pencil so you can actually apply different colors uh, before the ribs take up too much color and won't accept um, any color anymore so that you can actually have various different shades of color um, where you need your needs met. And, uh, it's actually a really cool deal. So I, uh, if I can remember the name of the paper, I know there's like, like 400 series, if you will, or 500 series. Uh, it's definitely a whole full of niche in itself. Um, so yeah, so and I'm, I'm staying more on the colored pencil area because that's that's my niche. That's what I like to do. Um, not trying to bore you guys too much here. Um, so if you choose painting, of course, there's all sorts of items um, you need to be prepared. Um, going to save you a lot of time and effort, like uh, like working on a car, you need your tools, you need, um, so you don't have to run back and forth to the store multiple times and things, and things like that. Okay, so here's um, some of the different uh, stages of one of my, uh, one of my illustrations starts out basically uh, before it even gets to that stage it's just a rough draft 
and of course you add uh, detail to uh, your drawings before you get to the final stage. So illustration techniques, colored pencil merely because this is the technique that I use. Each individual person will have their own unique illustration styles, even uh, though some of the work uh, might look the same. Just to name a few techniques, some people use light, medium, or dark strokes with their illustrations. I use all three and train myself to get away from the darker strokes because mistakes are easily made and harder to fix. <coughs> so if you come into a drawing, uh, let's just say you're you're going to use so much pressure on that pencil, and then um, you're like, oh shit, I didn't want that there, you know. Um, I ain't going to get rid of it. I can't. Got to start all over. Um, so it's better to go in uh, with not so much pressure, nice light strokes, and then you can erase uh, when necessary, and everything's great because it goes away. Some people create their illustrations with colored pencils, classical pencils, use erasers for effects. And the, uh, that fog I actually showed you guys, I used an uh, eraser to try to blend and get some, of the, um, get some of the material from that pencil to just make a nice smooth uh, look. So it actually kind of looks like fog. Um, that's actually a pretty cool technique. Uh, so acrylic uh, paint um, actually goes along too with colored pencil. Uh, a lot of people use uh, black, gray, white acrylic paint just to get, uh, so the white acrylic paint would obviously give it the uh, more lighter look. So it would make uh, kind of like a light shine if you will, like a piece of glass, if you're drawing glass, or, or if, if you get stuck using too much pressure on your uh, picture, uh, you can use acrylic to uh, lighten it up because you can't just erase a colored pencil. So that, that would actually um, complement that. You wouldn't have to erase. Uh, which I haven't even used yet, and I, I really like to get into um, acrylic. Some of, my, um, some of my work. Grading your illustration. Have a plan. Collect all necessary materials. Create a rough sketch. Using that rough sketch, start on your paper you have chosen to illustrate on. You do not have to copy from your rough sketch. You can deviate if it's your own illustration. Have fun. Um, basically, so what I'm saying here is, um, and even while you're creating a rough sketch, um, make sure you use like an off shoot paper from somewhere. You can use a napkin, whatever. Um, it's, it's a lot easier to plan it out before you actually use it on the paper you're trying to. Um, finish your piece on. Uh, that, I do that all the time. <coughs> Use minimal to no hard uh, dark strokes on your illustration. Again, it's just um, super hard to fix, clean up. Uh, classical colored pencil illustrations take time. Be patient. Uh, the more patience you have will determine the outcome of your final piece. Um, so basically, um, you don't have patience, colored pencil or pencil probably isn't um, your cup of tea. Um, uh, unfortunately, I was gifted with a lot of patience, um, not with my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was definitely this right here. So. <laughs>
So you used a big eraser for that one. Yeah. 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 Oh my Costly goodness. that one, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's a whole nother uh, subject. That's a whole nother subject, man. I could I could do like an hour of one of these on that. But anyway, getting down back to the meat of it. Um, uh, so yeah, um, if you have no patience, I wouldn't even pick up a pencil and even try. Um, unless you like to draw stick figures. It's, there's no detail in stick figures. Um, some of, that might be all some people can draw stick figures. But there's no problem with that. Uh, use other pieces of paper to practice any certain shades before applying them to your piece so you have an idea of what it will look like. Um, so that's a huge... Um, that's a huge technique too to use. I use that quite a bit when I'm stuck and like trying to finish my piece. And I'm like, well, what color am I going to use? Because if I use a color and I'm like, well, I want to change my mind, I'm screwed because I can't, I can't just erase color pencil. So I, um, I get just napkin, you know, side paper, or whatever and I practice the shade on that piece and then I transfer it to the final, uh, to my final piece and it, it actually turns out really well so I don't have to erase now. It's awesome. Show off your work. Uh, love your work, whether you're a noob or a veteran. You know, if you can only draw a circle, show it off. You know, that's an achievement. Um, you can draw you know, a straight line. A lot of people can't even do that, you know. Um, they get, you know, crazy and it turns out like something, something not good anyway. But um, yeah, even even I'm a veteran, I like to show up my work. Uh, it's, you know, um, it, just, it just helps getting compliments, knowing that, you know, I've spent so much time on my piece and people actually love what I do, so it, it really helps out a lot. So what I'm going to show you guys now um, is the beginning of an illustration that I did for a friend out on the East Coast. Um, this isn't probably the best um, illustration in the world, only because it's kind of dark in nature, um, but it kind of shows you the different um, stages you go through. So basically first um, you can kind of start to see some um, headstones around here that are taking shape. Um, of course I've already drawn one here. Uh, it's not super uh, detailed. It is detailed enough so you can actually kind of see it and um, kind of see it come to life. So you can see where I've started to draw grass. Um, I've drawn another headstone in the back. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. Um, some skulls are forming. Uh, another, uh, actually getting into the, um, the detail in the headstone that's laying down. Uh, there's a figure over here which actually ends up changing and okay, I didn't expect that. And so from here I drew kind of like a kind of like a mixture of leaves laying in the ground and you kind of find yourself doing that a lot when you're illustrating, you look for fillers, stuff to fill up your illustration so it's not just um, grass, you know, like uh, Bob Ross, you know, I want a happy little tree over here, I want a happy little hill over here, and, um, why not throw some uh, dead leaves in there, right, it's a cemetery, perfect. Okay, so uh, we're taking shape here, uh, it's kind of like some kind of possessed looking woman right here, kind of just hanging out, screaming. That's the, that's the X. That's the X. Is that the X? Uh, <laughs> no. 
a learning curve of col colored pencils because there's so many different types. Um, there's polychromos colored pencils, there's wax colored pencils. Um, uh, you wouldn't think about it much, but the, uh, um, the colored pencils you'd see like Crayola and things like yeah. that, just garbage. <coughs> so that's probably worth buying on if you're not. <coughs> The colored pencils I'm more keen on. There's a pack of, I want to say, maybe 60 or so, and it's 200 bucks hmm. uh, just for 60 pencils. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're so much worth it because yeah. it's just, just the, um, it's, it's kind of like uh, watching like TV back in the 80s and then with those colored pencils and polychromos, it's like watching HD yeah. mm -hmm. today. So there's a huge difference. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you want to, I mean, I'm sure you guys heard of like Prismacolor, um, things like that. That's that's a pretty popular brand. Uh, that brand and uh, Faber-Castell are the top two brands to get. Yeah. I mean, they got such a wide array of colors. Um, you can use color combinations, things like that, and it just it, it blows up your artwork. So. You know, I got a I got a brother-in-law who went through some rough time. You know, he grew up in New York. I mean, I'm talking. You know, he did time in jail. He was a crack at it for years, but he was a very <coughs> talented artist, and he painted. He was, in, you know, in paint, but he does pencils, everything, every medium you can oh, wow. think. And he drew some of the wildest stuff I've ever seen when he was cracked up. And then he moved to Cleveland, right, dried out. Guy from New York, guy from Teamsters out of New York, right, kind of adopted him. And my sister, because they were both living in the subway for years, we didn't know where they were. Oh, right? wow. I mean, it's, it's a really wild story, but this guy found them. Little Italian dude, and he bounced around like the Sopranos when he talks to you. And <laughs> I mean, the whole typical TV thing was the, this, this guy was the real deal. But he pulled him up and he helped him resettle down in Cleveland to kind of get him away from, you know, it wasn't much better, but but he helped him get straight and all this other stuff. That's awesome. And, uh, and this guy got in there and this guy. Teamsters knew somebody in the, in the Board of Education in Cleveland. He ended up getting a job through the city of Cleveland teaching his teachers, right, that taught art and things like that in the, in the city of Cleveland, how to create art and teaching them different techniques. and. <laughs> And things like that, and he, you know, he actually did real well for himself after that. But I mean, you see some of this artwork that he's got, and it's like, okay, that's wild, <laughs> really wild, man. But that's cool. Yeah, it was very cool, man. That's why that's why I got met my interest because of all the work that he showed me. Yeah. That's pretty cool stuff, though. Awesome. Nice Thank job, you. man. Tom. So you always do dragons and stuff. Yeah.